Yeah, imagine right now that uh, there is just something about you. You could call it a quality or a state or just like something about you right now. Not tomorrow, but just right now, whatever you are thinking, feeling, whatever you are longing for, whatever memories are coming into your mind, whatever is going on for you right now, maybe you feel very cold, <laughs> maybe, you know, whatever is going on. <laughs> so, in the middle of that, inseparable from all of this thinking and feeling and sensing and uh, feeling comfortable or uncomfortable or just, you know, whatever comes up in your mind, there's just something that doesn't care about what it is. There's something about you that that are not disturbed by it, are not excited by it. There's just something about you that just are very relaxed and at ease and and can just see and perceive everything that's going on with you, as you, in this moment, just for what it is. Not needing to categorize it into positive, negative, neutral, not needing to do anything with it. I mean, that quality to learn, to teach, to train your mind, to tap into that quality, I promise you, <laughs> will change your life. And I know many here has really you know, felt amazing results from training up the mind to tap into this quality. And in this training, we call this quality, this fundamental state, open intelligence. Obviously, it's an experience, so it can't really have words, but it's really practical to, to speak about it, right? I could just oh, sit there and oh, it's so nice, but, you know, it's nice to, to be able to refer to this this state, this quality about you that are totally unaffected by whatever is appearing in your mind. Just so unaffected. It's important for us to know this about ourselves as human beings. It's so important now more than ever, each one of us stepping up to really see that there is just something about you that really are always fine, always okay, always uh, clear, ready to go, always alert. And you might ask yourself like, yeah, but still, how can I, what is this? What is this? Even if we have heard about it like so many times, it's so powerful to introduce yourself. Like that introduction is not like an introduction one time. It's a forever introduction. Introduction always on. Always on. So right now, if you stop thinking... Are you doing it? <laughs> stop thinking for a moment. You realize that you probably can't stop thinking, so that's good. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, but in doing that, even if you manage just for a very, very, you know, like a millisecond, you, you're all still here. You didn't go anywhere, like you, you didn't fly off, or you, it's obviously something about you that's so present, that is looking through your eyes right now, that's feeling that you're sitting in this chair right now. This alertness. This is who you truly are as a human being. All these other things going on, thoughts and emotions, sensations, so random, so unpredictable, so impossible to control. If you're like me, of course, I, I, I really thought I could control this because I wanted to. It's, it was scary to think that I could know what was, would be the next thought, what would be the next emotion. But it's great to be real there because we can't. We cannot control what the next thought would be. Even if we sit and wish that, oh, I wish that the next thought would be just this wonderful being in love feeling or, you know, whatever it is for you that, that you think is the best thought and emotion to have in place, it wouldn't happen. <laughs> Even if you th really tried hard. So, so this is so like humbling to really, really see that this is who you are. You are this open intelligence 
that is always there, whether you recognize it or not, whether you decide to tap into it or not, it's there, hanging out as you, completely available and clear to let yourself be as you are and to let everyone else be as you are. So as humans today, we really need an access code to tap into it. We really need, because we are not trained to rely on open intelligence. We're just not trained. So you're so lucky to be here today, whether this is your first time or you've been here many times, because to hear this access code again and again clicks your mind open. It's not like it's, it's one-off. <laughs> it continues to open you up to see what's really true about yourself, not to believe or remember anything I say. It's really, it doesn't really matter. You don't need to remember or understand or like it or anything like that it's uh, you 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 can think i'm really stupid and boring and yeah talking about perceptions like thinking about what all of you are thinking about me how do you perceive me right now you know i i could try but i would be really <laughs> that would be really painful so that i i i, I just don't go there i i just see that, you know, it's so powerful in this moment. You know, I would use this access code, for example, with, oh, what do you think about me now? Oh, it's my first open meeting in three years in Goa. <laughs> this is like, it would be terrible, so nervous. Ooh. Oh, I remember these chairs. Oh, was it so high up this stage? <laughs> it's there, of course, normal. <laughs> normal human being is there. But then I use this access code of short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times until it becomes obvious. Now that's the instruction. That's the gold. It's the only instruction we give. This is all you need to train up your mind. Now it's to implement it is another story. That's why we say it's a training, it's an education. Repetition is needed. Repetition of this single instruction is so needed. Again, it doesn't matter what you think about that or how you like that, or if you sit here and you think this is really boring, <laughs> it comes down to trust then, to expose yourself in a setting where, where this is shared. So in a short moment, what I do, or don't do, <laughs> Uh, because there are many ways, you know, to like, how is a short moment? Uh, and it, it really is, is unique. But one thing that really helped me in a short moment was first just to allow myself to be having the thoughts and emotions I have. Just letting open intelligence think the thoughts it's thinking, feeling the feelings it's feeling. It's just going on anyway. So a short moment of completely relaxing body and mind and just hanging out there, not doing anything with it. So I'm not trying to avoid what I'm thinking and feeling. I'm not trying to replace it like positive thinking, trying to, oh, this negative woo, stuff, get rid of it, let me think something positive. I'm not doing that either. And I'm not indulging it, which is difficult for me. This was one of my favorite habits. Like I love to make dramas of what I'm thinking and feeling. Making it so big, so juicy, so spicy, so... <laughs> it was not in touch with reality. It was just my mind, like a fantasy, like, a, you know, just going off. So not doing that either. <laughs> So the short moments gives you the access to, a, to a, a fourth way, a new way to be with yourself. This is gold. So in that short moment, you're not avoiding, replacing, indulging. You're just letting yourself be as you are. You're letting all data be as it is. And also sometimes I, I found it powerful to just stop describing, just really making a decision not to describe my thoughts and emotions. So if I'm in a situation where it's, uh, you know, a lot of things going on and I, you know, I, I start to analyze myself that, oh, I'm not behaving the way I, I would like to behave. I'm, I'm uh, you know, and, and I, I see this is happening. I know that it's never too late to take a short moment. This is so important. Every moment fresh and new. So it's like, 
yeah, you can ha go into self-blame and self-criticism and wanting yourself to be different. This will happen again and again, like this is not a quick fix training because it's not about getting rid of those thoughts and emotions. It's about getting used to relaxing as them. This is, a, this is an important shift for your, for, for your well-being. You know, when the focus goes, shifts from thinking you need to change anything about yourself to see that you can decide and make a decision on how you can be with what's happening in your mind, as your mind. That's, you know, that's where the access code comes in. That's where the short moments, the repetition comes in. So that's also when you start to really discover that all your thoughts and emotions, all these things happening in your mind that in this training we call data, are inseparable from open intelligence. It is who you are. It is who you are. So a metaphor that I really love to, sometimes I reflect on this metaphor because it helps me really understand who I am. Because if you, if you take the air and the breeze, you so instinctively see that it's the same. Where is the breeze? You couldn't take the breeze out of the air and put it into a bucket. The breeze is just a dynamic expression of the air, like a storm sometimes is a dynamic expression of the air. So that's the same with all your thoughts and emotions, your sensations, all these data, data streams. It's just a dynamic, wild, unpredictable expression of yourself in this moment, in this moment. So to train your mind to relax as this beautiful unfolding will give you, you know, uh, a new life, I would say. <laughs> Words are really difficult to put, you know, on the results of this training because it's in everyday life. It's in every encounter, in every relationship, in every task that needs to be solved. That sense of being clear and relaxed, even if there are disturbing thoughts and emotions in place. So I would say one of the most powerful results for me has been when, you know, facing uh, stress and, and a lot of things to do and thinking about, uh, you know, all the tasks that I haven't been, you know, all the things I want to do, but I haven't even started. And, you know, how the mind just goes so wild and not even being with what I'm doing because it's just busy with what needs to be done. So in those moments, taking a short moment, not describing how this situation you know, like, how will it be this evening? Or, you know, just like relaxing all those stories, not describing it anymore. I found so much energy. Definitely. It was like so much also relief that I could just be with whatever is going on. So that intimacy that, that you discover is uh, unique for each one of us. That's why in this training we are not asking you to believe in anything. 